Hi, everybody. Rand Dean, email sanity expert here. Hey, um, I'm going to do something a little bit different with this uh, video here today. As you can see, it's a new micro learning video. But what I'm actually going to do is switch out of the presentation mode and go to full screen mode so I can show you several tricks right here on my iPhone uh, that is actually a relatively new device for me. Uh, I used to be an Android guy, still actually have the old Android too. But it took me a while to figure these out, and I thought maybe this would be helpful for somebody else out there, too. So I'm going to give you six basic iPhone screen swipe, press, hold, and button commands. All right, so let's try this. So uh, as you can see, here's my iPhone. And watch this. First, what I'm going to do is do a slow two-finger swipe from the bottom corner. And look what that just did. That just brought up all of the open apps that are on my device. And now what I can do very quickly is if I want, I can actually kill some of these apps, meaning shut them down real quick just by doing an up swipe. And that way it basically stops the old stuff that's out there and might make your phone run a little better. Um, the second one that I thought you might like to see is to press and hold an open area on the screen and just hold it because look what that just did. That brought up the little minus signs next to the apps and they're all shaking even the ones at the bottom and what that means is now you could actually take any one of these apps and you can start moving around and if you wanted to move it to another screen just hold it over there and you can actually go to other screens when you do this too i'm gonna actually put this one back where it was right there on that screen so that's really easy and the minus actually means you could actually delete the app off the screen pretty easy uh next one is if you then take your screen Click on it again to turn that off, by the way. Uh, the swipe to the far right. So this is the farthest I can go. If I go one more, that brings up my entire bucket of apps. And actually on this screen, it actually puts them into themes. I didn't do that. iPhone did this. But if you click on the app library at the top and just click on it, it brings up all of the apps that are currently loaded onto your device. So you can see everything that's on there and available for you. All right. So another one, hit cancel on that and get out of here, is that if you swipe all the way to the far left, that brings up your news and notifications panel. And you can basically go in here and customize and set up everything that you want on the screen. Uh, one of the things that I'm going to add, I like having the weather capabilities on here. So just sort of fun. Now, the next one that I want to show you is that if you hold the power main power button and up volume button at the same time that takes a screenshot right there it is but now i want to show you something i think is actually pretty useful if you leave it there for a while it'll disappear i actually think the easiest way to go find that screenshot after you take it is not to go into photos because a lot of times you have to scroll to figure out where the screenshot went just open your camera because if you open your camera and then click on the little picture window down here it will take you right to the screenshot that you just took because it's the last thing you just did. All right, so that's one more. And then the very last one, which I'm sure most of you know, hold down the power button for a long hold. That brings up Siri. Now I'm gonna turn Siri off here because I wanna show you what you can do then. You can have some fun with people. Hold down the button. Siri. I'm not sure I understand. Let's try that one more time. Siri. We'll try it one more time. Siri, what is zero divided by zero? Imagine that you have zero cookies and you split them evenly among zero friends. How many cookies does each person get? See, it doesn't make sense. And Cookie Monster is sad that there are no cookies. And your friends are sad because they don't exist. Oh, wow. This escalated quickly. That was what is zero divided by zero. Okay, let's finish this up. That was fun. Uh, I'll go back into my screen sharing now. That's what I had to show you here. Uh, so let's get back into this. Um, once again, <laughs> I'm Randy Dean, <laughs> the email sanity guy. And I uh, thank you for your time. Actually, if you have other things you're doing like that, can you put in the comments what they are? Because I'd like to maybe make a follow up with other really cool tips on simple iPhone navigation with your screen and your buttons. Um, so that might be helpful for a lot of people. If you like this video, please like it. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Um, you know, and uh, like I said, make the comments on the things you're doing. If you want to learn more about me, there's my website, randalldean.com. 
And if you want to get all of my little bonus PDF documents, including my YouTube channel viewers guide with links to my better, more useful videos, just send me an email, randy at randaldean.com. Put YouTube PDF in the subject line. Awesome. What's zero divided by zero? That's funny.